Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'll show you how you can automate the DB system patching of your Oracle based database using OCA CLI. I'm Amal Raj. So let's get started. So if you have very less number of databases, maybe say less than 10, then the easiest way to do the patching is you go to the console and then initiate the patching from the console, which I'll just show you the options. And then of course we will get started with OCA CLI. So I'm in the console. I have come to my respective DB system, which is uh, with this name. And how do you do the patching is you go to the available patches and then you click here. And then, you know, under DB system, you can see the available patches for your DB system. So as you can see, we have two patches available, Jan 2023 and then April 2023. So how do you apply the patch? The first thing is you go here and then you click on the three dots, you perform the pre-check and then uh, you do the apply. Of course, there are certain recommendations and best practices, which I'm not going to discuss now. So this is how uh, you normally do the patching. Now, if you have hundreds of DBs in the Oracle based database or in the OCI, how do you automate, okay, without getting into the console. So there are multiple ways. You can, of course, use REST APIs uh, using SDKs, but you will have to develop your own script. And one of the easiest ways to use the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Command Line Interface, which is called OCI CLI. So you can install the OCI CLI in a separate compute host and then initiate the commands from there. Or the another way is you can also use the Cloud Shell. So let me go to the cloud shell, go to the developer tools and click on the cloud shell. So it will bring up a shell, okay, which has already uh, OCA CLI and couple of other commands so already installed, pre -de by default installed, but it is not configured for your specific user. So you'll have to configure your OCA CLI uh, with your um, OCID of your user tenancy, you also have to create your own API keys. So I am assuming that everything has been done because there are already uh, known documents from Oracle, which you can use to uh, how to even install on a compute host and also to uh, configure the OCA CLI. So now the OCA CLI is installed and configured for your user. Now the next thing is, let's see how you can initiate the patching uh, using OCA CLI. So let us uh, increase this a little bit. Okay. now. There are two things we need to keep in handy. One is your compartment ID and your DB system OSID. Of course, so, so if you want to have patch, if you need to patch a particular system or a couple of systems, you should, or should be able to identify those systems. So that is where uh, your unique or a cloud infrastructure ID can help you. So I have taken the OSID of my DB system. Of course, how to do it, let me again uh, minimize this. You can go to your DB system and then uh, from there, you can easily copy the uh, OSIT from here. So that has been done now and we will go to the cloud shell again. So now the first step, okay, well, like I said, we have identified the uh, OSIT of the DB system. And also if you go to your compartments, if you go to your, uh, from here in the navigation menu, identity and security, and then go to your compartments, for your compartment, you can also have your OSIG. So these two things are done. Now let us see what is the next step. So the next one is, you know what system to patch. You already uh, put it on your uh, file in a, in a shell, okay? And you can, of course, uh, using shell script, you can, you can get one by one. Next thing is, what is the patch that you want to apply for your DB system? Okay, uh, now to get the patch ID, First thing is we'll export the DB system ID, which we already collected earlier, and I'll export it just in, in the cloud shell itself. Of course, you can put it in a shell script. And then I will initiate another command, which will retrieve all the patches applicable for this DB system patches applicable for this particular DB system. And instead of displaying in the shell, I am redirecting it to a file. The output is already in JSON format, so I'm just output it to a file. So now let, let us execute it. So already it has been executed and let's see what are the contents of this uh, file. So basically uh, it shows you there are two patches available, which is again the same thing that we have seen from the console. You can see Jan 2023 and April 2023 DP system patch. Now 
it is up to us which one you want to apply for the purpose of this particular demo i am going to apply the latest patch which is april 2023 so the next step is we know the patch id because it's already shown here of course using the scripts you can get this which i am again going to show next so we need to get this patch id and then give input to a different command so that it can start with the uh, pre-check so now let us clear this and next thing is we want to do the pre-check so for that again uh, we will do the export the db system id it's already done okay just for the purpose of this one i am again doing it and then patch id i will extract it from the file that we just had so i will extract it like this and then next the patch action what is the action that you want to do whether you want to perform a pre-check or an apply so for this for the first we will do a pre-check okay so once we have these three things ready we are ready to execute the ocacla command for doing the pre-check so basically you initiate the you know, db system patch and then give particular three how what you say a couple of parameters let me go back you give the db system id and what is the patch action which you are going to do pre-check and then the patch id which we already got it from that json file so now the patch uh, pre-check has been initiated let us go and see what has been seen now we can see the old in the console the pre-check has been initiated so of course the idea is not to come back and console but i just want to show you in the console what is happening so one good thing with the uh, ocacla is whatever you do with ocacla it is actually in sync with the you know console now you can see the patch db system the pre-check is in progress again the idea is like i said we don't want to come to console and see you should be able to see the progress from the back end so that is the next step we have initiated a pre-check now let us see how you can uh, track this work request from the back end in the sense in, from the cloud shell so one more extra thing that we need over here is we need to export the compartment id which we already took it in the beginning okay and then let me try to export it it's already done and we already exported the db system id uh, if you want we can do it again but uh, i'm leaving it next thing is we need to catch there will be multiple work requests for this particular uh, db system and we want to get as you know the specific uh, work request which is in progress so the first thing is uh, we will get all the work requests uh, related to this particular uh, resource id which is our db system and then put it in a particular file so i already put in the file if you open this one this particular file it will have multiple uh, let me try to open it for you and then if you look at here okay, let me see a yeah, db system pre-check okay you will see uh, a lot of things one is in progress one has been succeeded so this is the one the latest one is uh, this one in progress one is uh, which is 15 percentage if you look at the console also it will be showing us 15 percentage either you can uh, initiate a different command uh, to go specifically about the work request which is what i'm going to do and then only monitor that or you can even uh, use the same json file because again it is easy to filter out what is in progress or what is the latest one in that way also you can do it so with this command i am trying to get the latest one which is in progress and then of course you can initiate another command just to see only what you want to see for the particular work request So now with this, you can see uh, the exact work request that we had initiated before, which is in, in progress. So this is how you can monitor, you can you can initiate it, the pre-check, you can even monitor it. So the next step is uh, let this pre-check complete, then we are going to come back and initiate the actual patching. And then of course you can monitor in the same way that we have done for uh, pre-check. So let's wait for a couple of uh, minutes and then come back and then we'll uh, resume from there. okay so welcome back uh, i had initiated the command again and you can see the patching or the pre-check has been done it is 100 percentage so of course all these things you can uh, this is again in json format you can get the percentage and also the status using uh, scripts like i have done here and then of course 
once the pre-check has been completed, we can go with the patching. So now, uh, just to showcase it, it is all, it is similar commands. Only thing that we are going to change is uh, the patch apply. So now, let me do that. I will. We already have everything else uh, exported. We instead of patch action as pre-check, we are going to make it apply, and then of course we are going to initiate the command for patching. Okay, so let us initiate it. Okay, it has initiated. Now, uh, just to show you from the console, let us go to the console. And then of course, this will be initiated in a few seconds. I think it is set to update here. Yeah, it has updated. Now, if you go to the work request, it this will also update here. As you can see, it has started patching. And here also it will come up with a new work request. So it has it has come now. So now the patching is in progress. So this is not the pre-check, the actual patch, which is again going to take some time. So we will not wait for that because we have seen it, uh, know how to initiate it. And again, using the same commands that we have seen earlier, we can check the uh, status of the patch, yeah. like the same way that we have done for the uh, pre-check. So that is uh, real fast and quick how you can initiate uh, your patching uh, using OCI CLI. I hope it was useful. I'll again catch you up with the uh, next interesting video. Thank you.